In our previous video, you learned about earthquakes and faults. If you haven't watched it yet, you can pause this video and watch it for better understanding of our lesson. Do you still remember what fault is? A fault is a crack or break on Earth's crust due to the movement of tectonic plates. And when tectonic plates move along fault lines, energy is released that cause an earthquake. A fault has three types based on relative motion of the plates. They are normal fault, reverse fault, and strike slip fault. The earthquake occurs at the focus. This is a zone within the earth where rock displacement happens and causes an earthquake. The point directly above the focus is called epicenter. This is the location that scientists calculate while focus is directly below. However, scientists cannot determine its depth. Structures near the epicenter experience more shaking and more damage. In addition, to locate the position of the earthquake's epicenter, we need a seismogram reading from at least three different seismograph stations and travel time graph, which shows the speed of both P and S waves. This illustration shows the epicenter, focus, and fault line. There are two major scales in which earthquakes are measured. We have magnitude and intensity. The magnitude of a particular earthquake is a single number which does not vary from place to place. Magnitude is the total energy released by an earthquake at its focus. Earthquakes of large magnitude are stronger and generally more destructive than those of small magnitude. The Richter scale measures earthquake becomes weaker outward from the epicenter. Magnitude uses Hindu-Arabic numerals. While intensity is all about damages or effect of the earthquake as perceived by an observer. The Mercalli scale measures the intensity of shaking. Intensity is expressed using Roman numerals. Let us see the measure of intensity and magnitude corresponds to each other as shown by the table. What is PEIS? PEIS, or FIVOX Earthquake Intensity Scale, is a seismic scale used and developed by the FIVOX to measure the intensity of an earthquake. It was developed as upon a specific response to 1990 Luzon earthquake. The FIVOX uses the following scale to describe the intensity of earthquake in the Philippines. This table shows us the FIVOX Earthquake Intensity Scale. We have Intensity Scale 1 to 10 and its description. 1. Is scarcely persistible. 2. Is slightly felt. 3. Weak. 4. Moderately strong. 5. Is strong. 6. Very strong. 7. Destructive. 8. Very destructive. 9. Devastating and 10. Completely devastating According to data recorded by FIVOX, our country has an average of 2,000 earthquakes every year. This is because the Philippines lies along the Pacific Ring of Fire, which causes the country to have frequent seismic and volcanic activities. Many earthquakes of smaller magnitude occur very regularly due to the convergence of major tectonic plates in the region. Earthquakes occur mostly along fault lines. A fault may either be active or inactive according to its activity. In addition, there are several active faults in our country, which explains why we experience earthquake very often. When we say active fault, it is a fault that is likely to become the source of another earthquake sometime in the future. Geologists commonly consider faults to be active if there has been movement observed or evidence of seismic activity during the last 10,000 years. Active faulting is considered to be a geologic hazard. 
Inactive fault is a fault which has not displayed any seismic activity for more than thousands of years. Our country, which is an archipelago, consists of numerous numbers of faults. There are five major active fault lines in the country, namely Western Philippine Fault, Eastern Philippine Fault, South of Mindanao Fault, Central Philippine Fault, and Marikina Valley Fault System. The Central Philippine Fault Zone, consisting of Ginayangan, Masbate, and Central Leyte Fault, are the most seismically active regions transecting the islands of Bundok to Leyte. Can we predict earthquakes? Seismologists cannot predict the time and date in which an earthquake may occur, but they can predict the places that an earthquake will occur due to the presence of faults. Study the map and find out where you live. Is there an active fault passing by your town, province, or region? If so, are you and your family prepared for the occurrence of an earthquake? It is important to know the location of active faults. As much as possible, no important structure should be built near on them. Fivox has a map that shows the active faults in the Philippines. They also have apps that can be installed in our cellular phones. The best thing to do is to plan ahead. It is the same as anticipating the worst to come up with the best solution to an unexpected and desirable event such as that of calamity or disaster. We term this as emergency management. There are four phases in an emergency management. We have mitigation, preparedness, response, and recovery.